There we go. Okay. A little different. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because you need the key to open it from there, the power cord. Okay. You got that open? You open up all the doors. What's the matter? Start from here. Got it? Okay. Nico, you good? Yeah. What's the matter? You all right? Yeah, I'm So you're going to want to start from the front. You can start from wherever you're comfortable, but you probably don't want to start from the front. Okay? Don't forget to use your body language, especially when you're doing your presentation. By the way, every vehicle, doesn't matter if they're new, used, five years old, ten years old, every vehicle, you can tell what size motor and engine the car has. Does anybody know how to tell? Don't say it, Jeff. I just showed you. No, but okay, but show me. Okay, what, what size is this? Well, this this it doesn't really look like a normal engine. I mean, well, what do you mean? Sure it does. Isn't it? <laughs> sure it does. Okay, here's what I'm trying to say. Here's the point, guys. Just so you know. By the way, it's not a six. Okay. Here's just so you know. Every car, you can tell where the the size of the motor by the sticker that's on the hood or by the side if it's over here. Okay? Here's what I mean. Now, I don't have my glasses on me, but if I open this up here, every car has this. Here. You see these stickers? You're going to see a white sticker that looks like this. Now, every car has this. It might say something different on each manufacturer, but here it's going to say 1.5L, which means 1.5 liters. On Toyotas, they kind of scramble the numbers, but you can see the size of it. It'll be over here with a few group of other, it'll say engine size. And it'll say that. General Motors is pretty clear. But every vehicle has this sticker, and it'll tell you what the size of the motor is. So no matter what car you're presenting, either new or used, you can always say, hey guys, this is a 1.5 liter do a single overhead cam or dual overhead cam, whichever it may be. Okay? So you sound like you know what you're talking about. Put that back. Okay? Now, in order to verify that, you can look over here on the sticker, and it'll tell you the same thing, right? So this is a 192 horsepower, 1.5 liter direct injection turbocharged four-cylinder engine, okay? So think about this. Like, when you're doing your presentation, okay, you see where it says 1.5? Every car has it, you just got to find it, all right? You understand that you should practice this when you're looking at used cars. Everybody got that? So you can turn around, even if the engine, if this is a used car, even if the engine is, you don't have a sticker on it, even though it's, most of the used cars have stickers today, you can turn around, excuse me, you can turn around and say, folks, let me tell you what this, this engine is, okay? This is a 1.5 liter turbo, uh, turbo 192 horsepower turbo engine, by the way. You know what that means? Let me tell you what that means, baby. What that benefit for you is, it's a smaller engine, so it gets much better gas mileage for you. You're going to get 31 miles of a gallon average. And by the way, you mentioned that you do a lot of highway driving, don't you? Yes, I do. So you're going to be getting an average of 35, 31 to 35 miles per gallon of gas just on this car. Wow. But at the same time, because this is the 1.5 liter turbo engine, you don't lose that power, man. You need to get up and go on that highway. You kick it, it's going to kick. You got it? You're going to feel this thing. Because when we drive it, man, you're going to drive it like you stole it. And you're going to make sure you're going to feel that kick, okay? Can't wait. All right. Now, then you go into your presentation, right? And you can use this. It's okay if you use this while you're doing this presentation. Okay? Basic presentation. Now, every car has certain characteristics. But you see how you pull this car open? All the, the doors are open, man. The trunk is open. The hood is open. The trunk is open. Trunk, hood. Whatever, okay, you got it? They're all open. Now you're ready to go into presentation mode. In fact, we gotta open up the gas cap. Somebody open up the gas cap, please, okay? You might just be able to push on the back of it, or it might have a part in the side of it. Alright? There you go, five. So now you wanna start where? At the grill, right? So check this out. Honda has this oversized grill. And the reason why they make this, now look at me, look, look at my body language. Okay? By the way, you see this oversized grill here? Why? Because they take the special, with the air intake that comes into this car, the reason why that they make that is because what it does is it cools down the engine and it gives you better gas mileage. 
and it gives you more, it gives you a faster way to, to handle this vehicle. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it, Peter? That's why they have this beautiful big grill. And hey, look back here, man. Check this out. That looks pretty darn cool too, doesn't it? You see that? What I'm doing? I'm getting this customer involved during my presentation. I mean, I'm I'm showing them, I'm doing this, I'm even touching them. I'm saying, check this out, man. That looks pretty sharp, doesn't it? Yeah, man, you want to know something? You see these lights? Stand back a little bit. Go back. Go back. Check this out. You see these lights? These are these special Xeon lights. I don't know if they're Xeon. I'm just making it up. But you want to know what you got, right? Okay? These are these special Xeon lights, man. These lights, not only are these lights designed, not only do they look really cool, but it's actually designed as a safety feature. Because what you want to have is the most light possible when you're driving down the road at nighttime, right or wrong. So what that thing is, that's going to get you a mile, a mile worth of visibility if it has a mile worth of visibility, driving down the road so you can see anything that's in your way. Got it? Now, also, I want you to come here. Put your tap on this one. You feel that plastic? You never see cars these days that have all these, these, poly these old plastics that kind of fade and the, and the headlights look really sh shitty and crappy? Well, here with this new polymer headlights, that's not going to happen to you. They make this plastic designed for that. So guess what? It's going to look very <coughs> sharp, just as it looks right there. Man. That's you're pretty you're amazing, you're isn't it? You're around, man. You're not going to worry about that. Got it? You're not going to get it bumped out or anything like that. So I already went through the headlights now, right? Now I move on to the drop-down motors. They also appear to take this one. What am I doing? I touched them a little bit. I'm not going to grab them and pull them, but I'm going to say, give me for a second. Let me show you, right? Touch personal. Right? Touch. Now, men, be careful. Don't be touching women or anything like that. You understand? It's very important to not do that. Okay? But you want to bring them over. You want to say, this engine is also designed with what they call breakaway drop-down motor mounts. You know what that is? Okay, so what that's designed to do is, God forbid you get into a major front end collision. Hopefully that'll never happen to you. Okay? But God forbid that you do. What happens is, this engine is designed to break away go underneath this firewall, and this way the engine doesn't get pushed into the cabin and into your chest. It's a pretty cool safety feature, isn't it? Awesome. Awesome. What am I doing this whole time? I got this guy interacting. Okay, I got my customer interacting. I'm talking to him, asking him questions. I want him to be involved. I got him touching stuff. I'm touching him. I'm telling him, come here, follow me. You see what I'm trying to say? This is what it's like to be an actor or an actress. You're, you're giving your 100%. You're not going to give up anything on this presentation. You're going to want to show them What's important to them when they told what they told you in step number two, what's important to them. Okay? And believe me, safety is important to everybody. So you've got to get to know your safety features of your vehicle. Okay? Then you want to move on to these different things. This car is also equipped with what they call crumple zone. You see these things in the These little notches in there? Yeah, I want you to understand what that is. This is called the hood crumple zone. Now what that's designed to do is in case of a frontal collision, again, this, this hood is designed to come and break away into a teepee. Rather than breaking off and coming in like a projectile into your chest, it's designed to break away and go into a TV. Did you ever see that in the car accident where you see a flying version? And the same thing here, these are also crumpled up. So this part of the car from here forward is designed to break away and actually like, a, like an accordion. So it's designed to come like an accordion. And this way, you are protected here inside your cabin. Makes sense, am I right? Awesome. Okay, guys, can you see my body language? You see what I'm doing? Me. Now, what would it be like if I was like, so let me just say it here. Um, it's hard for me to do this actually because it's just not my style. Okay, but it's hard for me to be kind of mundane and, and like, if that's, a, if that's the right word. So this, this has what they call crumple zones. And uh, Catholic, you get an accident designed to crumple so that, you know, you're safe. And uh, the engine's also designed to kind of break away also. And, uh, you know, just in case of the front end collision, it's, it's designed to break away. And then it doesn't come into the cab. You see the difference? Believe me, I'm telling you, man, you gotta be animated. You gotta be really part of this, right? You gotta be part of this is you, man. You wanna be animated. You wanna get your customer involved in this thing. You want them to touch, feel, smell. You want them to get all their senses involved. You got it? And then you move around to the hood blanket. I didn't even do the hood blanket. You see the hood blanket? Again, you can say about the hood blanket. So let me show you this. Come here, take a look at this. You see these rubber gamuts over here? This is what we call a special hood blanket. Now, what that's designed to do is, number one, it's designed to cool down the engine with the heat that comes onto the, uh, onto the hood. Now, by the way, you ever see, like, on a car, and you see the hood's kind of faded, and, and the roof is faded? Primarily, that's because of the sun that beats down on it over time. Well, Honda has this incredible warranty. It's a seven-year, 100,000-mile, rust-proof paint warranty. Again, 
you got to check what the warranty is. Okay. Uh, each model, they have different warranties. So don't quote me on that one. All right? But that's designed not only to protect that, so that doesn't happen to you anymore, but it's also designed as a safety feature where, God forbid, this engine catches on fire for whatever reason it is, or it becomes overheating and got a little flame coming out. These are designed to melt, break away, and then that's designed to extinguish the flames. Yeah, it is a great feature, isn't it? Now, what did what I do? He said that's a great feature. What did I do? I just tied it down. Tie down. Don't ever go, when someone says something positive, don't ever go without tying it down. It is a great feature, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I tied it down. I got that yes. Always get those yeses, man, those positive yeses, because guess what? You're going to ask for that big yes. So there's as many yeses as you can get. Then you want to move over to the side, right? And you want to start with what we got, oversized wheels and tires. Now, I don't know if these are the standard tires that get you No. But can you tell the size of the tire on any vehicle, whether it's new or used? Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay, guys, if you don't know how, they're listed right here. Again, I don't have my glasses. Will you tell me the size of the tires? Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're going to want to say, listen guys, these are 235 19-inch tires. By the way, you know, Honda really does care about uh, you and your safety, so they put Michelin's on these cars as well, okay? Obviously, Michelin's are the best tires you can possibly get. We don't play any games coming out of the factory. We put those bad boys right there because the most important thing is to get you a tire, and that's going to grip the road when you're driving. Got it? My body language, you get it? My body language. Body language is everything, guys. Don't be boring. Okay? Get into this stuff. Now, again, this isn't, doesn't come natural to a lot of you, so you gotta practice it, but you wanna make it your personality. You don't have to be so dramatic like me, but that's just my personality, right? I don't wanna get people involved with it. Now, you wanna go to the breakaway side mode of mirrors. Okay, this is an important feature. A lot of vehicles, by the way, just so you know, and no one ever shows this, but a lot of vehicles, by the way, like my truck has the mirrors that you press the button and it goes the automatic. But they also have breakaway motor mounts. So you want to do this as you're walking past it, you want to do this. As like an actor or an actress, go like this. So anyway, come here, follow me, Peter. I want to show you something. Oh, oh, Pete, check that out. Did you see that? <laughs> you see you're an actor. So Peter, what this is, is a breakaway mirror. Hey, you ever be driving down the road, man, and you see those mirrors just hanging off the side by a wire? You still see them every once in a while today, right? Not with these. These are designed to break away. God forbid somebody runs into it like I just did. Or if you get into a tight spot, you know, you might get a little chip there. But guess what? The mirror is attacked. These mirrors are pretty expensive. You want to make sure they don't come off your truck or car. And also when you go into the car wash, you know, we recommend that you put these in as well, okay? And you just put the window down and just put it like that. Got it? How cool is that, right? So you walk into the side. Do that on purpose. So by the way, Peter, come with me. Oh, hey, by the way, did you see that, Peter? <laughs> See what I'm What I'm doing is, I'm getting the customer involved. I'm getting, I, I, I'm, it's like a show here. This is a show. Okay, I'm on Broadway, man. I want to show them everything that there is about this car. And you want to open this thing up again, okay? So again, when you walk to the side, you close the door, and you purposely hit this, and then you want to do this. Don't hit it with your, with your mic. You might chip it, okay? Uh, and then you want to talk about other things, right? So you got, we covered all this, didn't we? We already covered all this, right? And I'm not even over here yet, right? Think about it. Then you got smart cruise, safety cake. Now this is a really important feature. So what I'm gonna do is this, watch. Watch how I get my customer about. Hey Peter, come over here, please. Why don't you do me a favor? I want you to knock on that. Be careful. It's gonna hurt your hand. Feel it all the way down. Feel this? It's solid, isn't it? See, he said solid, not me. And now he said solid, isn't it? Solid, right? You know what this is? This is the steel safety construction space frame that Honda makes these, these, these cabins with, okay? So it's designed as a steel construction space frame. Now, what this is, the most important part of the car is the occupants. Not the car itself. We don't really care about the car. Well, we do care about the car, don't get me wrong. But the most important part of this vehicle is you. And Honda brings that in with every single month. In fact, if you take a look at our safety rating, what's the safety rating on this? Real quick. Five out of five. <laughs> you see it? Safety rating? Safety feature. Might be star Safety rating. Yeah. Turn around. What is that one? All right, so most times stickers sometimes will have that. Okay? All right, come here, guys. Don't worry about it. 
Most times, st st safety ratings will be will be right here. Okay, it says to be rated. Yeah. Okay, so because the, these are brand new, by the way, these 18 accords, brand new. brand new. These are all new body style accords. Okay, but if you go to a Civic or something like <coughs> that, you're going to see they got the safety ratings on. So you're going to want to know the safety rating. So when you do this, you say, and when you're talking about the steel construction space frame, you're going to say that's because that's why we have a five star rollover rating and a five star occupant rating. Why? Because this is so solid, and obviously Honda cares about you so much. They put all their safety into the cabin. And again, that's important. It's also, by the way, I want you to see this. Do me a favor, will you? Close that door. Close the door. One more time. A little bit harder this time. That's solid, isn't it? Solid. Absolutely. You know what that is? Nowadays, these, we make these cars so solid, and the reason why is these doors are not only solid, but they're very heavy, and the reason why is we have these, what we call, side impact beams here. Now, the side impact beams are there for one reason and one reason only, Peter. That's because, God forbid, somebody comes and slams you from the side, you are going to be protected as much as possible within the cabin. Not only is the cabin itself a steel, steel, spacing, steel safety uh, space frame construction designed to take that impact, but these doors also have the side impact beams throughout the entire room. And again, that's going to be important here, am I right? Got it. Now, also take a look at this. You see these here? One thing that Honda cares about as well, the comfort when you're driving the vehicle. I mean, you know, when you get in this car, uh, I know you said you've driven it before, but when you get in this vehicle, I only want you to really understand and listen to how quiet this car is. Because these here triple seals, you see these seals here, there's one seal here, the inner side seal here, and then down here at the bottom. Honda's equipped with all these triple seals. They gotta make sure you have triple seals, dual seals, whatever seals it is, okay? But these are equipped with that for the purpose of keeping your, your drive nice and quiet. So hey, listen. When you're taking your girlfriend out on a date or something, you don't have to worry about listening to the engine, okay? You can listen to it yourself and have a nice conversation. Make sense? Okay, see what I'm doing? And then, what am I gonna do? Now I'm gonna move to the trunk, right? What else, do I miss anything? Side impact, safety cage, back seat. Well, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna do that on the time around. However, I usually do that on, on that side, but watch this, I want you to do this. This is a really cool thing, because trust me, no one is gonna do this. There's no salesperson that's gonna do this. Hey, Peter, I know this might sound weird. Do me a favor. I'm a seat in the back. No oh, spacious. How do you feel? A lot of room back here. Got a lot of room for you? Room, leg room. And you're a pretty tall guy, aren't you? Yes, I am. How tall are you, by the way? 6'2". So you're 6'2". Yes, sir. You got plenty of space. Yes, sir. The reason why I do that, look, I know you're going to be driving, and there's probably a really good chance you're going to never, ever be in the back seat of your car. Right. I'll ask you know, whatever, but I'm not going to get into that. But you're never ever going to be in the back seat of your car. But I want you to understand and feel the way your passengers and your children or your friends or your golf buddies or your fishing buddies or whatever buddies you got are going to feel while they're in the back seat. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? They're going to be pretty comfortable, aren't they? Real. Absolutely, man. See what I just did? I did something no one's going to do. Sit them in there, man. Let them feel that. See, all along the time, every time that you do something like that, you're planting a seed. You know what you're saying? I care about yeah. you. I care about you. I care about you and your people. By the way, you're mm. buying a car for me, you're not leaving when I'm buying a car for you. You're giving him a VIP treatment. You're not leaving when I'm buying a car for you. You got it? Every time. That's what you're doing. Yahtzee. Very, very important. I care about you and you're not leaving when I'm buying a car. I care about you and you're not leaving when... Because you're going to do some stuff that no other salesperson is going to do. You're going to build so much trust with this guy. By the time they're done with this test drive and you ask them the big question, if they're going to take, they're going to take us home now, they're going to see you. All right? So now, all right, come on in. Awesome, right? And again, that's something that nobody's ever going to do. And by the way, every one of these vehicles have what they call 60-40 seats. I don't know this one in particular, but you can pull it down. Yeah, it, comes down. it comes down, right? You know. And, and by the way, as you're going through the interior, I'm going to show you some other features that are going to be really cool, especially with people that have families, okay? Now you're going to move to the back truck. They say, come here, Peter. Now, take a look at this. You put some spaces in there, man? This, this is pretty really cool, yeah. You can, fit, you can fit at least four to five golf bags in there, can't you? I know you say you go golfing every week, man. So I want you to know you can fit four to five golf bags. And hey, listen, by the way, I know you got recently married, right? Oh, sorry. All right, well, check this out. Sorry. If something happens, you get in a fight with the wife or something, she throws you out for the day. <laughs> <laughs> wow.
<laughs> hey, just don't lock yourself in. Oh, you get through the back seat. <laughs> you want to get in? Yeah. By the way, if you say you want to get in and they get in, done deal. Might as well write it up. Okay? Might as well write it up. If they say, nah, say, okay, cool, I was only kidding anyway, right? Get in the car, man. Have fun with it. Who cares? Get in the back seat. Look how much space is back there. Like, there's a ton of space back here, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to get in there. Don't be afraid to use yourself. Don't be afraid to get your customers involved. I want my customer involved. I want them interactive with me. Because no one else is gonna do this. You got this? How important this is? Also, here's where you're going, you're going to thing. By the way, just in case you need extra space, Peter, and you need to put stuff in there, and literally, to throw you out, you want a bigger room instead of just getting a little apartment. Here. Just pop this up, pull that down. 60-40 split. Take that one, pull that down. Damn, that's awesome. Now check this out, man. Look how much space you got back here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Hey, do you need two people to open that? I mean, to do that? No, no, no. I'm going to live in my Honda. The thing about how much space is, so look, if you never need to move stuff and you travel, it's a lot you're cheaper, I'll tell you that. You know, you got to put a lot of luggage there. You got plenty of space in here, man. It's, I mean, they, they, they really thought about the customer that did that, right? <laughs> that was a good one, Carmine. Look at this. Come here, guys. You really take a look at the way the I'm talking to the video. <laughs> What am I doing? I got my customer, he's standing next to me, and again, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to be looking at him and saying something like this. See, if you really look at the way that design is, you see the new design of this new Accord, the way they did this, by the way? It was gorgeous, first of all. Sleek, isn't it? Well, what they did, they designed it just like that, to give maximum occupancy to the passengers, as well as maximum occupancy to the truck space and the space that we need. Got it? Guys, look at my body language. Look what I'm doing. See what I'm saying? I got my customer involved with every step of this presentation, yes or no? Yes. Okay? Then I'm also going to turn back here and I'm going to say, Peter, do me a favor. Will you pull that down for me? I have to show you something. Yeah, just, just push it down. Solid, isn't it? Solid. This one's got it all. See this here, by the way? Notice that there's no gas cap. Wow. See, these days we need the gas cap. Why? Because the way this works is, it's very, very, this is actually more secure on the vehicle. See, a lot of check engine problems happen. A lot of problems with the engine happen because of the air that gets into the gas cap. See, here, how this design it? Well, you don't even need that anymore. There's no more of this. Just press there, open it up, boom. No more gas cap, stick the nozzle in, you're good. It really secures the air from the outside. It keeps the gas intact there. Got it? Oh, that's a new feature. Yeah, it's a great feature. It's a safety feature as well. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't kick back up on you. Now, as we say here, as you put the seats up. By the way, I want to show you something else, okay? And I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into the interior yet, but I'm going to say, I'm going to sit down as I go into the interior. By the way, as you feel here in the interior, you felt this, 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 this the leather is safe. How you know soft that leather is when you're in that car? Pretty cool, isn't it? Now watch this. Now I want you to do me a favor, will you? Now I'm going to wind up where? Have a seat. Have a seat, Pete. Thanks. I don't care even if they told me that they're not test driving the car. I'm not test driving, I don't need test driving. I went to three different places. Great. They're going to be in the driver's seat. Okay? They're going to test drive the car. Don't worry about it. They're always going to test drive the car. Now you're going to want to start going through the driver's seat. By the way, on the back here, you got the feature uh, on the last page. What do you got? Get the pilot ready. This is the pilot. So you want to feel this, right? You can do this for him. You get to come into the driving door and do this. You picture something, you know, see so this goes up, goes down, see how this goes all the way up? Okay, and it goes, and you got this here. Tell me how you feel now. I'm going to say, tell me how you feel, how it felt coming. You want to go back or forward? Back. Back? Tell me when to stop. Stop. Stop, got it. All right. Uh, you want the front to go forward a little bit? You want yeah. to come back up or you want to come back up this way? Up. Up? up yeah. Keep going. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. Good. There. All right, how about here? Let me just feel forward. Which way? Back or forward? Back. Back? Right there. Got it right there? How about this lumbar? You feel that lumbar? Oh, yeah, I feel it. Good. Feel it when we keep going forward? It's comfortable, Go isn't forward. it? Yeah, it is. Nice, huh? Got the arch in your back. Got that arch right in your down. back, right? Yeah. While you drive it? Yeah, Pretty good. Right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So
All right, got it? See what I'm doing? I'm getting the pilot ready for him. I'm getting the pilot ready for him. I'm doing this for him. I want him to show him that. Now, by the way, what level am I at him there now? I love him. See, I'm, I'm below him, okay? This is, a, this is a psychological thing. I'm below him. I'm showing him I care about this guy. I'm, I'm on his level. I'm even below him. I'm helping him here. I'm going to show him everything there is a little bit about this car. Now, what if I was just standing like this? Oops, excuse me. What if I was standing like this? Sorry about my knees. I'm from the It's great killing me. What if I'm standing there like this? Talk down. I'm talking down to him. Yeah, Psychologically, you don't want to do this. So you don't want to do it like this. Yeah, there's, there's the controls over there. So if you learn how to do the power switch, you don't care. You show that you don't care. But when you get the pilot ready and you're down on your knee and you're showing the customer that you care about them, you're at this level. What's better, standing up or being down? Being you down. You gotta get down, guys. You gotta let them do this to them first. Get him or her comfortable first. Okay? You get the levels first. Then you want to show them this. We also have what we call telescopic and tilt steering. On the tilt side, you just move this down, and obviously wow. you can move it up. And by the way, it yes. comes forward or goes in. Wow. See, so you got telescopic and you got the tilt. Now, by the way, which way? How, how, tell me how you like it. You like no, it a little bit down? Like all the way, all the way down. down. How about for out? You want to do that out? Yes. All right, there you go. I'll just awesome. set it right there by tightening that up. Got it? Awesome. See, what I did is I did all this for him. Getting this, guys? How important this is? Shows that I care. This is my customer. I want to give him 100% service. But at the same time, psychologically, I'm putting bugs in his head. I care about you. I care about you. I care about you. By the way, you're buying a car for me today. You're not leaving. Okay? You're not leaving. Because no one else is going to do this for you. You're buying a car today. Because you always want them to buy that day. You want to land them in stock and you want them to buy that day, right? So now, you start going through the features. Hey, pick around. I'll be right back. I'm just going around, all right? Just give me one sec. Watch right there. Watch. Close the door. Okay, he's locked in. <laughs> <laughs> he's going for a test drive. If he told you he doesn't want to, right or wrong? Yeah, right. Okay? Now I move over here. Close this up. I see what you done. You set me up. Now, I'm going to sit down with him. I'm going to close my door, and I'm going to start going through the features. Okay? So now, they open up that door so they can hear. So now, what I want to do is, I'm going to sit down, okay? I'm not because I want you guys to hear this. And I'm going to start going through the features. Remember when I was talking about the customer in step number two? Like, if they want a navigation, uh, yeah. how if you tell them that, hey, listen, the only reason why I ask if it's important to you is because, you know, if there's no reason to spend $1,500, I can save you the money. It shows that you care about them. Land the person, person on the car with your cheapest car. And... Oh, keys, yes. Sorry about that, buddy. No, what? I do Just move it right there. Oh, hey, okay. Do me a favor, move the car for me with this customer. Move that car for me, will you? Where do you want? Just pull it right in front so they can get out. That's all that matters. All right. So now, you're going to show, see, look, let me show you. This car is equipped with what we call Apple Care or Android Care, whatever it's called. You plug that phone in, and boom, navigation pops up on this beautiful 8-inch screen. Why spend the 1500 if they don't have to? By the way, remember, get the customer, so I want to be a little quiet. Remember something. If you save them money, they're going to they're gonna save it, little nuggets in their head. Hey, this guy saved me money. This guy saved me money. This guy cares about me. This guy cares about me. And we make more profit on a less expensive vehicle, believe it or not. Okay? I went to the whole philosophy with you guys fully get that part, right? See, now you start showing them all the features on that's inside this car. You start showing all the features on everything. Is he going to drive a stick shift? I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> all right, stop. <laughs> stop. 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 You guys got me nervous there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Stop. 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 Should have thought about that one before I gave him the keys, right? All right, look, so you're going through all the different features in the interiors. you got all the different electronics, all the different cool stuff. you got the sunroof up here, right? Again, if they want a car with a sunroof, if you're showing them a car with that, you're going through all these different features. And the key, the key to this is when you get in the car with them, you're going to start it. Watch this. By the way, you don't even need to give them the key in most cars these days, especially this one. Why? This is what you're going to do. It's keyless. Remember, remember, I ain't test drive no matter what. 
No problem. Hey, do me a favor, Peter. Put your foot on the, on the, on the brake real quick. Oh, press the button. Okay. Yeah, now you got the door closed. You say, Peter, by the way, just make it right when you go outside over there the parking lot, okay? Just drive over there. They're going to test drive it. You got me? They're going to test drive it. Does this make sense? You want to do this. Does this make sense, guys? You're going to be in the car with them. Of course you're going to be in the car with them. All right? Watch yourself. Uh, yeah. Go. You're good. Look at that car. Is that beautiful or what? That car is gorgeous, isn't it? All right? So now, during this whole presentation, I have just spent whatever, 30 minutes with you guys, whatever it is, but these are the basics. I haven't even gotten into the really cool features of the car that, again, your presentation is going to be a feature benefit based on what's important to the customer that they told you in step number two. In step number two, what's important to the customer is what you want to base your presentation on. Make sense, everyone? Yeah. Okay, you guys ready to try this? Yeah. yeah. All right, I want you guys to start doing some walk-arounds, okay, Pete? Why don't you get out of the car, it's okay. All right? Now, I want you to think about it. Pete, you want to buy this car? Yes, I do. Yeah, I know he does, because I just sold the ass to him, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> listen, but understand, when you're doing a presentation, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to it, all right? I don't expect you to be as animated as I am, but you want to start to get your own personality involved with it and use as much body language as you can, get the customer involved. Did I have Peter involved with the whole process? Yes. The entire process. I had him saying yes all the time. I had him asking questions. I had him answering questions. I had him touching. I had him feel it. I had him smell it. I had him tasting this sucker. You understand what I mean? This guy's ready to buy. If I had a pen, I'd be like, just sign up right here. Give it to me. Give me your signature. I'll get the car ready for you. Got it? Make sense? Any questions on how to do a presentation or how to get involved with a, a walk around type of presentation? Any questions at all? Yes. Would you be able to close it just like that right then and there? You what? said if you had a pen, you would be No, no, you want to go to test drive. Okay. You don't want to skip okay. steps, okay? okay? But what I'm saying is because now the goal is you did a great presentation. The goal is the presentation is phenomenal. They go on a test drive. Now you took a test drive for 20, 30 minutes. I don't care what you sell. Honda, of course, they're the Camry, Chevy, Impala. It doesn't matter, okay? Actors, doesn't matter, whatever for trucks, doesn't matter. They go on a test drive. Now their emotions are through the roof. Their emotions are through the roof, got it? They're just in love with this thing. Now, you're gonna say, just park next to your tray if it's a spot open, or just park right in the slow lane, and you're gonna get out, and what else is gonna happen is you're gonna get the customer, he's gonna come out of the car, and the next step is what? Trial close, right? After, after the demo. Presentation, demo, park next to the tray, trial close. You're going to stand back like this and you say, car's pretty sharp, isn't it? Very sharp. Listen, Peter, I know money's important, and I know you work hard for your money, so let me ask you a question. If I can make all the terms agreeable, would you like to take this car home with you right now? Absolutely, yes. It's an amazing car. Great. Let's get the paperwork and numbers for you. Follow me. That's it. Move. Great. Follow me. Watch this. Say no. Peter, if I can get the numbers and the terms agreeable with you, would you like to take this car home with you right now, put it in the driveway? Mm -hmm. No. 